So in this video, I want to show you how to relieve knee pain or maybe provide some solutions to help you deal with knee pain. But regardless, here are just some tips that help me and hopefully they can help you. So first, let me begin maybe what causes knee pain. Well, a lot of time what happens is you get strained either from a movement, constant repetition of doing the same movement. Kind of like you get tetanus in your elbow. And you do the same thing over and over, so you want to mix it up. Now, oftentimes it happens from running, it happens from old age. Maybe you had an injury, maybe you twisted something such as that. And you think, you know, I'm going to go for a little jog and it gets worse. Things of that nature. So many causes, but of course there are ways to work around it. And a very interesting cause of knee pain is actually the imbalance between the quads and the hamstrings. And that's what I'm going to get later into the video. So first I'm just going to show you a very simple thing you might want to start with. If you have knee pain, you definitely want to work on mobility, a little bit of strength, and flexibility. I'm going to cover all that in this video right now. So I'll begin a little bit with the mobility part. Now of course keep in mind if you do have some very uh, limited flexibility or you have severe knee pain, maybe don't try this. Go at your own pace, see what works, or do it very slowly. And of course here's the little exercise you can do. Where basically you stand side to side and you just tap your foot over and over. Now let's say this is too much. You can't get your foot over here. It either hurts too much or you can go lightly. Just start this way. Then as you get better, you go up and then you can get higher and higher and so on. And not only is it a great warm up, warms up your hips, gets your legs going. You're going to do the opposite on the other side. So it looks something like this. Now this also works a little bit of your side. So if you're working on kicks, it's a bonus effect. You can either do this, side to side, here and there, as much as you feel. Another one will be rotating your knees. So you put your knees together and you make little circles. A little bit here, a little bit there. And like such. Now another thing you can do is of course, a narrow squat where you go low. And this is a little bit of a more advanced exercise, so be careful, but regardless, you put your hands and you kind of go down. So you have control. And just keep doing that to get a low squat, such as I am right now. And back up. Now, let's move on to some of the strength training exercises. So I'll keep it very simple with two basic exercises you can do right now. That is, of course, a squat and a hamstring press. So, of course, you want to work the muscles and the antagonist muscles because they connect to the knee. It's kind of like the joint that connects both of them. Because if you do only squats, you train them, you never train the hamstrings, the backside, you're going to get imbalances and it causes knee pain, and vice versa. But usually, we have more overtrained quads is because when we walk or run, they're training. Usually, Hamstrings are a little bit harder. You do get a little, but not enough. That's why it's more important to focus on hamstrings. So now what I like to do is get my uh, trusty chair, as you see here, place it down. You can use a bed, any platform you have. You'll get down, place your legs, such as that. And you do about 10 to 20 reps. So you go up, hold it, squeeze it, back down. Up, squeeze back down, such as that, for 10 reps. You can do more, you can do less, you can do one-legged. It's going to be a lot more advanced. Or just keep two, you can even hold it at the end. Finish 10, hold for 10 seconds, and back down. Then you follow your squats. And lastly, we'll finish off with flexibility. So I'll just show you some of my favorite exercises for stretching the knees and overall just making them more flexible. So here it goes. So the very first one, of course, the butterfly stretch. Move here. This is also great for your hips. 
So you can follow along to see the way I do it. And you move to the side. This way. And of course you do a half splits type of stretch. You put your one leg, slowly go down. Here, get that deep stretch, but your knees kind of going forward. So you're almost getting that squat position. Full split position, such as that. Switch, and then you do this, if you can. Back up here, boom. That's the end of the video guys so thank you for watching hopefully it helped you alleviate knee pain and if you want to see other exercises or have suggestions of course post them in the comments and hopefully I'll get around to them but in the meantime try these out so I'm gonna finish Shinobi and I'll see you next time take care